Yo, I, I walk on Tisher boy, Jadon, legendary. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. It's finally here, folks. I finally put it together. One handed axe is my top 10 favorite. Y'all know how the top 10 joints go, man. I show you the weapon, show you how to get it, and we move on to the next with an honorable mention at the end. There's nothing else to say. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. Share with your people. Join the Legendary Clan. Support the channel. Become legendary. Let's go. Starting off with number one, we have the axes of Renji. Okay. These right here have been amongst my favorite looking axes since the first day they dropped in patch 1.11. There's just something special about them. All right. Number one, they're big. Number two, they're magnificent looking. Number three, I mean, you know these from a mile away. And not very many people use them as a transmog. Therefore, it makes them pretty dang unique. Next up, we have the Demon Forks. Now, these were going to be bonuses until I realized another set of weapons, I, another, uh, another axe I had on here could no longer be obtained. So that's now the bonus. This is no longer the bonus. And the reason being is because you can still get these right from the place behind us. Lower Black Rock Spire. All right, you're gonna be looking for a man named uh, Banok Grim Axe. That's this guy right here. Okay, he's gonna be right here. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, all right? Your boy is a gold master. I can make as much gold as I want if I actually feel like doing it. This man right here, if you're not really caring too much about the axes, or you are trying to get the axes, but you're trying to luck up at the same time, he is the very man who drops the plans, the recipe for the Arcanite Reaper, which will net you a nice, healthy, most likely, 28,000 gold. All right? So, not only can you get a real gorgeous black version of the Renji, which to me makes it look a lot better, but you can also get the plans and net yourself 28,000 gold, possibly. Stepping into the realm of TBC, we have this axe right here. Now you're probably wondering, Jadam, that's a basic two-hander axe. And that, my friend, is where you are wrong. This, believe it or not, is actually a one-handed axe, the double-bladed axe, okay? For whatever reason, Blizzard was sitting there one day and they were like, hey, let's take that two-handed axe from Vanilla and make it a one-hander. How do you get this thing? Well, tons of NPCs drop it in a Black Temple. Or you could pay a measly 223 gold in the auction house for the US or 500 for the EU. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if you're running Black Temple and Sunwell, you have a high chance at getting it, even though the drop rate is pretty abysmal. It is the two most common places you can get this axe. Mostly Black Temple. A whole lot of NPCs in Black Temple drop it. And it's special for a reason. It's one of my favorite axes for a reason. I use this on uh, a few of my uh, level 20 characters, my level 20 twinks. Next up, we got the Decapitator. Okay. These are some of my absolute favorite looking axes. I said these, it's just one. Um, You get this from right where we're standing. Good old Karazhan from Prince Malkazar, okay? With a decent uh, drop rate of about 15, 16%. Aight. Only downside is he's pretty deep within the raid. So you are gonna have to run quite a bit of the raid in order to get to him. Well, you know, that's the downside transmog farming. Sometimes you got to run through a whole dungeon just to get nothing. <laughs> Next weapon up is hands down one of the prettiest axes of all time. We have the Netherbane. Okay. The Netherbane here drops right from the very place we're standing right in front of. And that is good old Tempest Keep. That's the big boy in the middle. All right. You got the Botanica, you got the what's name, you got the what's name, and in, in the middle is Tempest Keep itself. This drops off the very first boss, Alar, okay, with a decent drop rate, as you saw by the little image that popped up. Okay. I mean, look at them. Crystalline axes with simple wrapping 
I mean, you can't beat it. You can't. This next weapon is a truly special one, a fancy one. As you can see, it is the last laugh, folks. The last laugh is one of the best looking axes in the game. Why? Because it is just simply gorgeous, number one. Number two, the flame effect is beautiful. Still, still beautiful to this day. A little weird and flat around the edges if you really pay attention. But other than that, you know what I mean? And it is one of the few weapons in this entire game to have a chrome shiny metal look there's not very many weapons in this game even to this day to the modern day not very many weapons in this game that have that shined chrome look there's like fucking three or four of them in the whole game total right. next weapon up we have the trog bane axe of the frost born king not to be confused with the Havoc's Call, which is a very similar axe, but different colors. Okay? I mean, it's pretty obvious why I like these axes. I mean, look at them. The deeper and more blue colors as where the Havoc has the more bronzish, teal-ish colors. You know me, blue being my favorite color. Obviously, blue gonna make it to the top, you know what I mean? They're, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. They're just magnificent looking weapons. I mean, look at them. Now, these drop off of the Lynch King. This can only be the 10 man version. That's 10 man normal or 10 man heroic. Still in the realm of Legion, we have, okay, this gorgeous pickaxe right here. Now, this does come in two different colors a purple one and a blue one. But I really love the pink one, which is crazy. I know. I like something over a blue colored joint. I know, but you gotta give love where love is to be given. And the pink one is quite freaking pretty. Now, all three of them can be obtained through uh, the invasion points here on Krokun, Antoran Waste, or Iridath. That is the old Legion zone for those who do not remember. On Argus, head over to Dalaran, uh, Legion Dalaran, and talk to that big. Uh, Golden Draenei Lady at the flight path area. She'll teleport you to uh, Krokun so you can make your way over to Iridath and all three. Now the drop rates are pretty freaking terrible, but the good thing is those little evasions happen pretty often if I remember correctly. So shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on and you do have an, uh, the opportunity at getting the purple or blue one, which are both extremely nice. Don't get me wrong. I just really like the pink one. These next weapons, I had to hop on actual Warcraft for this one, can be obtained by the big man himself, the Doomwalker. We have a commas, edge. Look at these lovely axes. As of this uploaded, you have exactly one day to hurry up and get your hands on these. Hop on as many characters as you possibly can because the drop rate is a lowly 4%. Alright? A lowly 4%. Make sure your character can use axes, of course. Get your hands on these absolutely lovely pieces. These were perfect for this character because this is my oldest Draenei, my oldest Shaman, and who better than my oldest Draenei to wield the blades of Akama. And now, folks, for our honorable mention, what is happening with the mountains? The mountains have seemed to have been losing their texture. But anyways, we have... The replica blood uh, blood wow blood guard cleavers all right um honorable mention because well you can't obtain these anymore these were for special a uh, special event okay almost too many of my orc shamans were using this on all on my trial account uh, with all my 20 twinks too many of them were using these axes these are some fancy axes they still look good to this day uh, blizzard put their all into this because the, it was a promotion thing along with the golden's staff and the alliance sword and shield even though i'm not the biggest fan of the shield and sword i don't use them very often uh mainly because a lot of people were using them at the time but a lot of people have stopped since but they just don't look as good as the axes you know what i mean they didn't come out as clean as the axes did you know what i mean including the staff which i typically don't have very many staves i like so it was pretty surprising to see how nice that one was 
but this is the bonus for that simple reason they're stupidly good looking but you can't get them no more <laughs> you can't get them no more look how fucking big these joints are man you can't get them no more y'all it was a two month promotion that they did for a little bit and well i mean that ended a long time ago <laughs> So anyways, folks, it has been your boy, Jadon Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good. Either way, you watched it. Currently working on the two-handed video. So that'll be coming out uh, about a week about a week from now. Okay, on another Friday. Yo, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. Share with your people. Join the Legendary Clan. Support the channel. Become legendary. I'm out.